Hey there guys and welcome back to Shivnut Figure Reviews. And today I will be reviewing the Movie Masters, The Dark Knight Rises, Batman, the Build the Bat Signal series, or whatever it is. So, as you can see, he does have this base that I put him on, which is from Mr. Breeze in the background there. You see him, 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 you see him. But where we're at is with Batman, obviously. And man, he is so cool. So, so cool. I mean, really cool. But before I'm going to get to Batman, might as well just do the bat signal with Anne O'Brien. And yes, I found out her name. Thanks to all the people who didn't comment and crap their pants all day screw you all but NECA oh my god thanks so much man for subscribing to my channel congratulations you're the very first subscriber good job <laughs> I know you were expecting probably like a figure or something but no nah, man I don't have a lot of figures well you're like dude this is all of it not even joking oh, there's my pillow that you all seen isn't that nice, huh? 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 Yeah. Dockers. Yeah, but this um, bat, this is the bottom of the bat signal, which is really cool. He has a lot of dry brushing on here. Um, no shading, but a uh, nice little concrete feel to it, and like the little bolts here. And, uh, yeah, it's just really cool. back in there take a look at the box so there you go got this box which is so sick then you have Batman at the bottom build the signal and it has Batman Bane and Alfred so I have the bottom piece and then it's for number Two is Bane, so that's the next piece to hold the bat signal. And then number three is Sha Bang, the bat signal itself. But there's some more to get done to this. There, you can also collect the Catwoman and get the glass in it, I believe, or the bottom piece. I can't remember. And then there's another figure, or there's another figure that you can collect also. To get the glass. I'm not sure though. Anyway, the figure itself is really awesome. The sculpt for his face is phenomenal. I mean, not too bad. You can actually see like the little. Nah, it may just look like there. It, it is pure white, but there is like this little tiny dark line in his eyes, and then like a white dot there, so it looks like he is staring at you. And then his face came out really cool too. By the way, he has pickles up on his feet. And uh, the cape came out really cool. No sheeting on the cape. And I could have been longer too. Those are my only gripes about this figure. And so... Here goes my sister. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Shut up. Anyway, so the sculpt on his uh, armory came out really cool. The scaly feeling got onto him, like the suit, and then the gray on him. Then, like, this really awesome plastic, and then the sharp little blades on his bat wrist. And then the gloves came out really awesome, too. Like the individual linings on the finger there. And then, oh, look at that muscle tone, man. I'm going to punch you out. That's how it is. And then his chest is where he's at, man. That is so sick. The muscle tone came out really awesome on that. And he has, like, all the individual packs. Like, uh, I mean, like, holes and pockets or whatever that you can place them in. Which is really awesome. He has a zipper there, the bat logo, logo, and then like a gray feeling, and then all the individual linings on there, which is awesome as hell. And um, he has like little individual packaging here with all the 
Little tiny linings. There your big fat foot. The fat butt. The back of his belt came out cool. Fortunately, it doesn't show the full bat on there. That his belt. As you can see, and then the silver came out too. And he has like a cell phone here, which is obviously hand painted. Which is so cool. So now I know that mine is completely hand painted. Which is awesome. And the legs came out really cool too. The scaly feeling, the gray tone, the black tone came out really nice on this figure. And the boots came out really cool. And so do his feet. Which is awesome. So, for articulation, his head can move up and down. He has this nice ab crunch joint, which can move back and forward, kind of. And he has waist articulation, which can move side to side. He has ball joint shoulders, which can move kind of up. Nah, not so much, actually. But the armor keeps getting stuck in the thing there, so it's stopping it from going in. But he does have ball joint shoulders. He has bicep swivel, single joint elbows, and wrist articulation, which can move side to side. And uh, same thing goes for the other arm. He has this groin, this kind of like groin hip thing going on here. You can move out and forward, and that's basically it. Which is so weird looking. I don't understand that. That looks like he's. You can put your two hands in there and just like swipe. Which is so nasty what I just did, but thanks for watching anyway. <laughs> he has lower thigh swivel, single jointed knees. He has no calf rotation. His ankle can move up and down, and he has a tiny, tiny ankle pivot. Which is really cool. But. This is the Dark Knight Rises Batman Movie Masters figure. Yeah, but uh, thanks for watching, you guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.